You are welcome to another video of Juniper Junos Associate course. In this video, I'm going to talk about Junos Trace Options configuration. Trace Options feature is like debugging tool in Cisco and many other vendors. With Trace Options feature, you can monitor device background process or traffic flow to and from Juniper devices. Trace options can be limited to a specific scope such as all interfaces or a specific interface, routing protocols such as OSPF, VGP and many other contexts. To configure trace options, you must first activate it in a specific context. Then you need to configure at least two options, flag and file. With flag option, you specify which part of this specific context should be monitored, for example, in OSPF context, do you want to monitor only OSPF neighborship packets or also monitor OSPF database traffic? With file option, allows you to configure the name of the file where the monitored information output will be stored. You can also configure the maximum size of the file and also the number of files to store the latest trace options output information. To configure trace options, you must first enter the context in which you want to debug the background process or traffic flow. For example, if you want to debug interface related information, enter to the interface context to enable trace options. For example, inside interface, set interface, and then we have the option trace options. Under trace options, you have two necessary options that need to be configured the flag option that allows you to limit the debugging information to a specific type and the file option to specify the name of the file the size of the file and the number of the files to store the debugging result as an example i choose for the flag option we have many options for example we want to debug only BFD events related to the interface or alert event or error event and many other information type, but I'm going to debug all information related to the interfaces. And for the file option, I choose a name for the file name, for example, interface one logs and limit the number of the file to three and the size of the file to two megabytes. It is also possible to enable trace options for a specific interface. For example, I enable trace option for Giga Eternal 00 with command set interface GE000 and then I choose the option trace options and flag for example all. To review the configuration, we can check with the show compare command before committing the changes. As you can see, tra trace option for all interfaces and for a specific interface is enabled for all type of the information related to the interface. And it is stored, the output of the information is stored in the file with the name of interface one log the size of two megabyte and up to three files are allowed to be stored in Juniper device. After commit command, you can check the activated trace option with show configuration command, run show configuration and then display set and match only trace options commands. As you can see, this is this is the set version of the configuration which has enabled the trace option for interfaces and a specific interface. You can also enable trace options in many other contexts, for example, OSPF and BGP routing protocol just to review set protocol and BGP and then trace options or the protocol OSPF and again trace options the output of trace options can be checked with a show log command as we have already checked for syslog output files run show log interface one logs as you can see we have many information related to interfaces 
Because trace options are good, takes up a lot of space, it is important to temporarily disable or permanently delete them when troubleshooting is complete. For example, we can temporarily disab disable a trace option with deactivate command. For example, deactivate and trace option or we can delete trace option command as a permanent deletion when our troubleshooting is completed.